On this episode, we talk about the impact of theater on a local community. And a local show coming up. Well, what's up everybody and welcome to another hashtag celebrate Columbus show my name is Josh Burnett and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the show and uh, I've, as you can see we've got a special guest with us today and we're gonna be asking her some questions so why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience and tell them a little bit about you okay I'm Sarah Harpering um, I'm a recent graduate from Columbus East High School and I'll be attending IU in the fall um, and today I'm just gonna be talking about a show I'm in this summer and along with other theater opportunities we have in the community Awesome. Well, with that said, let's get into the show. So, Sarah, how did you get involved in theater? Um, well, from an early age, my parents put me in these Parks and Rec um, acting up classes, um, and they're just fun little, like, basic skills. Um, and then, as I got older, I had cousins who were really into theater, and they inspired me, and so I just uh, kept it up, and I realized throughout high school that that was my major passion. So for those who don't know, what are some different acting opportunities for people in Columbus? There are theater opportunities um, for younger kids uh, through Parks and Rec, and I'm sure there are other places. Um, I worked with Jill Tasker, and she led a really great group for young kids. Um, and then as you get older, there's Mill Race Players, who has been really great um, in our local community. Um, and they've done a musical um, historically in the summer, but now they're expanding their season to like six shows, which is really cool. So there's so much opportunity. Um, and then they're also in the high schools, um, whenever in middle school sometimes there are play opportunities. And um, now I am in a show this summer um, with the Actors Studio of Hope. And so that's kind of broadened my, uh, my vision of, of how many opportunities there really are around here. So you've been preparing for this show in Hope now for the summer production. Um, what's been the rehearsal process like? For a couple months, we've been working in the theater in Hope. We've been really fortunate. Sometimes you have to rehearse a show um, at random locations, but we've been really fortunate. We've been able to rehearse on the actual stage with the actual set the whole time. Um, and it's been every Wednesday and Thursday and Sunday um, for a few hours and that's really helped and now um, with it coming up really soon we'll go every day of the week. So you're in this production called Steel Magnolias. Do you see any um, particular similarity, similarities between you and your character Shelby? Yes, I definitely do. Um, Actually, whenever I was recommended for this role, um, it was by my voice teacher, Juliana Jurup, and she said, um, this role is you. And as I read the script, I was like, yes, it really is. She's super determined um, to do what she feels is right in her heart. And um, even little personal details, like uh, the, per the one person who she kind of butts heads with is her mom, and that is like really true. Uh, for me, but at the end of the day, they love each other so much, and um, just she wants the best for everybody, and and I feel like that's pretty true for me. Sarah, how do you see acting and theater um, influence in our culture today? Theater has always been a place where people can come um, to to hear a story. Um, that's what I love the most about it. But it also, I once was told, is a mirror to society and all the things that it, that society believes. Um, so for better or for worse, it shows uh, what is going on in society and it helps bring those things to light. One of the things I've noticed, I've seen a couple of your different productions and um, theater, it evokes emotions, right? Like sometimes it makes you just crack up hysterically, but other times like it brings out some emotional sadness, you know, either from something that you can connect in with your past or something that you see in society going on. I mean, you know, for those of you that are watching the show, um, oftentimes as you scroll through the your Facebook newsfeed, I mean, you see the positives and negatives that are going on 
with our news and sometimes those situations will pop up in theater and I feel like in that situation um, you can really speak to culture indirectly and make a positive difference without always saying this is the particular situation that's going on and this is how it needs to change right 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 something that I've noticed Sarah is that when you hit the stage you were just fierce what changes for you when you hit the stage the difference in a character and my real life um, is part of why I love it so much because you can become whatever character is displayed and it's important to play that character right so even if that's not really you it's important to play it as that character and um, I think that's kind of funny because people who don't go to theater often they see that on stage and like oh my gosh is that what you're like in real life like have right. I never known the real you and I'm like no it's just important for that character's traits to be displayed correctly so yeah there's definitely a difference and and that's what makes me so passionate about it is being able to play those characters in their fierce way. <laughs> yeah, and for those of you who don't know, um, Sarah's actually my cousin. I thought this would be a really unique opportunity to talk to her about her acting and theater and just her development. Um, you know, from a little girl, you know, I've seen you grow up and one of the things that I love to see is you on stage. And yeah, you are like that same person and you know, you've got those moments where you're like uh, fierce or loud or like out there but you're also reserved sometimes and more quiet and soft. And I think it's so cool, like you have that ability, depending on whatever role you play, to become that person. And I think that is what makes a great actress. Thank you. Where can people buy tickets for Steel Magnolias? Um, you have to make reservations. It's actually a dinner theater, so that's cool, except for on the 14th. So the dates are 14, 15, 16, 17 of July and then also on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And the 14th is not a dinner theater, so um, if you want to get in on that, make sure that you contact them as soon as possible. Um, but then the other days are all dinner theaters, so they'll serve dinner about an hour before, and then you get to see the show. Yeah, so that could be a really great date night for a couple or, sure. for, or for a family that wants to go out and experience theater in the local community. Uh, make sure to check out the details that we'll show you here about Steel Magnolias that is at, located at the Willow Leaves of Hope. And make sure to stay tuned. We'll be right back and we've got a quick game to play with you and we've got the question of the day. Welcome back to the Hashtag Celebrate Columbus Show. We're introducing a brand new segment today, and uh, I hope you're ready, Sarah, because I did not prep you for these questions. We are going to answer questions within 60 seconds, okay? Are you ready to ask okay. or answer some random questions? I can do this. Okay. 60. Start the timer now. Sarah, what's your favorite color? Uh, Tealish turquoise. Okay. Blue. Last movie you watched? Um, Indiana Jones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last song you listened to? Um, Halo by Beyonce. Last TV show you binge watched? Parks and Rec. Great Indiana show. For sure. um, if you flew to New York right now, what musical would you want to see? It's got to be Hamilton. Duh. Um, what musical slash play could you watch again and again? Um, Hamilton. If I could see it. <laughs> Last good book you read? Um, the Summer I Turned Pretty. It's good, despite the title. Chocolate or vanilla? Um, vanilla, always. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Favorite breakfast food? Uh, English muffin. Go to audition song? Strongest suit from Aida the Musical. Musical instrument that you can't stand? Uh, they're all good. I respect them all. I respect them all. Song on the radio that you don't want to hear anymore? 
Um, probably all about that base. Sorry. Thank you for the candid answer. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> well, that wraps up our segment for that rapid fire. Let us know in the comments what you thought about that. We're going to keep improving the show, and we're trying to introduce fun stuff each new episode. And we're going to end this episode by letting Sarah ask the question of the day. So, Sarah, if you could ask the audience one question, what would you ask them? Uh, what would you guys like to see performed in the community? Awesome. So what local theater production would you like to see come to Columbus? Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. That'd be a great question. Make sure to answer that question in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching the show, hashtag Celebrate Columbus, as well as you, Sarah, for coming on the show. I really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you for having me. Hey, we're going to wrap up this edition of the hashtag Celebrate Columbus show. You keep asking questions, and we'll keep celebrating our community together. 